All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and our nurse lead year three batch one participants. This is a momentous occasion that marks the culmination of weeks of hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence, leading towards innovative projects that will make a lasting impact in the healthcare landscape. My name is Julian Ivan Sobrano, and I am your Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon's event. So just a gentle reminder to please turn your cameras on if your connection permits and turn your microphones off as well to minimize the, uh, and reduce the background noise. It is my pleasure to introduce the dedicated and passionate team of educators and professionals who guided you through this course. These people are committed to ensuring that your learning experience is enriching, engaging, and supportive. Before we begin, let us all sing the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Yeah. 
To formally start our closing ceremony, may I call on to the virtual floor, Professor, Doctor, and Dean of the College of Nursing, Dr. Sheila R. Bonito, for her opening remarks. Good afternoon to everyone. Today, we are ending the training of the ninth batch of public health nurse leaders who started the course with us on August 11. We now have 314 nurses who are who have completed the course. As we have discussed over the past few weeks during our Zoom sessions, there are many challenges that we are facing to implement the universal health care and to achieve our commitments to, to deliver on the health outcomes and sustainable development goals. We hope that through this course, we have provided you with some insights on possible solutions, as well as support for you to continue doing your best as public health nurses. We have also plans for co committing to our public health through our association, the National Association of Public Health Nurse Leaders. At this point, let me thank our program sponsor, the Johnson & Johnson Foundation, through its uh, global community impact, who believed in our vision of public health nurses leading the implementation of universal health care. Thank you also to the Department of Health through the Health Human Resources Development Bureau, led by Director Johanna Banzon, for supporting the role of public health nurses and allowing them to grow in the profession. We hope that we will continue supporting each other to address the long-term need for nurses in every barangay and to advance public health nursing in the Philippines. Thank you to our resource persons who have devoted their time uh, with us in the course and share their expertise during the discussions. Thank you to the module coordinators and capstone project coordinators who ensured that the learning resources and requirements were aligned with the course outcomes and maximized the learning opportunities for our participants. And of course, thank you to our teaching uh, learning assistants, the graduates of the previous batches of this course for also sharing their time and commitment and um, being with us also during our Zoom sessions. And thank you to the course team who devoted also their time and talent uh, to see the course to its completion and always finding ways to improve and innovate for our current and future offerings. And lastly, to our nurse leaders as we close the course, we hope that we opened a new chapter in your lives. There is much to do as nurse leaders, managers, and uh, collaborators. And we look forward to meeting you again in our Nurse Lead Summit with your completed capstone projects. We are really excited to hear about your capstone projects and where you are in their implementation. And of course, we hope that we will also welcome you to the National Association of Public Health Nurses, which we hope will foster our community of practice as public health nurses. Again, thank you for joining Nurse Lead and more power to all public health nurses. Thank you, Dean Sheila. The University of the Philippines has always been a place of transformation where dreams are nurtured knowledge is shared and features are shaped. In this juncture, we have the distinguished pleasure of hearing the, uh, from the individual who plays a pivotal role in steering our institution towards greatness, who was just recently conferred as a national scientist, Dr. Carvincita Padilla, the Chancellor of UP Manila, for her message. Mr. Manish Anandani, Managing Director, Johnson & Johnson, Consumer Health Philippines, Dean Sheila Bonito, other guests, and the graduating batch one of year three of Nurse Lead. A pleasant good afternoon to all of you. I am pleased to be with you this afternoon to deliver a message in your completion ceremony. It has been a month since we opened this course, and from what I've heard, you performed very well during the duration of the program. During the opening ceremony, I mentioned that our goal is to strengthen the competencies of our nurses in leading and managing primary care services and population-based programs. I also stated firmly to remind you of one thing that you should not forget. Nurses are leaders. You are not simply healthcare professionals. You are leaders, and you have been aided to be such 
during the one-month leadership course. I would like to recall a speech made by our former Vice President, Attorney Lenny Robredo, during the 43rd Polita Sotejo Lectures held last June 28th. It was up that the speech was made in the nursing hall as some sort of a reminder that everyone can be leaders. In her speech, VP Lenny said, Bilang leader, you have to inspire people. Ang tamang sukatan sa isang leader ay yung hindi na kailangan pang lumapit sa kanya, sa kanya ang mga tao. Sapagkat mayroon na siyang inihandang servisyong tutugol sa kanilang pangangailangan. She did not mention any rank, any designation, which should be the minimum requirement for a leader. What she mentioned was someone who inspires and is proactive to the needs of the people. As nurses, as leaders, you yourself, au naturale, are already an inspiration. The pandemic made sure of that. Now, people look at nurses as knights of health, as wonder women, as supermen. Your turn now is to be proactive to the needs of the people. Think of their needs. Think of their struggles they encounter with regard to their health and well-being. Then, use what you have learned to find ways to help them and improve their lives. That is the best example to demonstrate what you have learned in this program. I commend your instructors and the leadership of the College of Nursing for this laudable endeavor. UP Manila's stature as the Health Sciences Center is enhanced with the holding of this course. Dapat kayong magalak sapagkat kayo ay nakapagpabunga na naman ng bago mga binhi, ng mga leader na magtataguyod ng mga kaalamang medikal, ng adhikain na mga nurse, at ng piwa ng pagpapakatao at pagmamahal sa kapwa. Nurse leaders, I salute you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Chancellor Padilla. Uh, now, our course would not be possible without the support of our partner institutions and organizations. First, we have a message from Ms. Winnie Tan, the Southeast Asia Lead of the Johnson & Johnson Foundation. Good day, honored guests, nurses, and attendees. It is wonderful to see you here today. My name is Winnie, and I'm a part of Johnson & Johnson's Global Community Impact Team here in Asia. First off, on behalf of the Johnson & Johnson Foundation, congratulations on this wonderful day. It has been a labor of love for the UPCN team and I'm so excited to see you here at graduation. Building on Johnson & Johnson's history of supporting health workers for more than 125 years, the j, j Center for Health Worker Innovation was founded to help close the health worker shortage gap and build a thriving and resilient health workforce. The center aims to solve the challenges facing health workers focusing on equipping you with skills, resources, and support that you need to improve quality of care and strengthen primary and community-based health systems. Frontline health workers, that's you, play a critical role in delivering primary health care by helping communities manage their health and creating a trusted bridge to the more formal health systems. You are also part of your local community, sharing its culture, strengths, vulnerabilities, and can shape and deliver effective interventions to meet the needs of patients and families. The case is simple and proven. If we can help solve the challenges facing healthcare workers, we can improve healthcare for all. With limited resources available and big challenges to overcome, businesses, investors, governments and stakeholders across all sectors must collaborate to achieve goals efficiently and avoid fragmentation. No one entity can achieve this alone, which is why we are glad to ally with UPCN with your recognized strengths in nursing education and are so thrilled to see many other important stakeholders in the room. Thank you, nurses, for investing in your growth and we hope you'll continue to develop new perspectives on how to advance health for the communities that you serve. We are grateful to Dean Sheila and her team at UPCN for their continued efforts in strengthening nurses through nursing education. We wish you much success in the future and look forward to the positive change that all of us can contribute to. Maraming salamat. Thank 
you so much, Wenyi, and we are looking forward for more projects together with Johnson & Johnson. And next up is the Director of the Department of Health, Health Human Resource Development Bureau, Director Johanna S. Banzon. Welcome, ma'am, and thank you for joining us. You may now have the virtual floor. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Congratulations to UP Manila College of Nursing and j, &J for producing yet another batch of nurses under the Nurse Lead Program, um, and which is the first batch of nurses on uh, uh, its third year of implementation. As your partner in health, the DOH HHRDB is truly grateful for the Nurse Lead Program because it helps to realize the goals of the Universal Health Care Act. Um, lest we forget, the UHC is not a program. It is an aspiration. It's a way of upholding the health system um, henceforth. It's the way we're going forward. By now, I am confident that most of us, if not all of us, um, have a better appreciation of the role of the nurses in UHC as leader, as manager, as advocate, and um, as a care uh, provider across all, all life stages in the different uh, levels of care, in whatever setting, no? public or private, and in the different community settings. Alongside our efforts in improving our health services, nurses are protectors of our communities and also of our distinct culture, keeping in mind that our indigenous cultural communities or indigenous people are an unintegral part of our communities. Our joint efforts of continually holding and molding our public health nurses also signifies a whole of system, a whole of government, whole of society, and people-centered approach in strengthening our, our health system. The Nurse Lead Program certainly prepares and equips our public health nurses to take on the multifaceted role as a leader and manager of our primary care services and our po population-based programs. Henceforth, our nurses will be more adept to instill positive change in population level outcomes by promoting and protecting the health of communities. We believe in you, uh, nurse leaders. We believe in what you and other members of the healthcare team can do to keep our populations healthy. Please know that your leadership, your service uh, is appreciated, valued, and much admired. With that, thank you, congratulations, at padayon po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, ma'am. And of course, you will not miss this chance of having a photo op with our ever-supportive HHRDB director. So maybe ask everyone to please turn on your cameras and let's take a photo. Okay, so I have three panels po. Uh, ready po tayo. Smile the camera. One, two, three, smile. All right, moving on to my next panel. One, two, three, and <laughs> smile. All right, moving on to my last panel. Sorry, last night. One, two, three, smile. Thank you so much, Po. Thank you so much, Director Joanna, for joining us. And of course, uh, we are also lucky no, that our uh, resource persons are here, no? Na, ano sila, they joined us in this uh, afternoon's event. So I would like to acknowledge our resource persons who are here with us in our uh, closing ceremony. We have a uh, Dr. Anne Scordero, Ma'am Castor Palaganas, uh, Ma'am Dean Peng Tuazon, Assistant Professor Marie Angela Mabale, and of course, Ma'am Rita Tamsek. Magandang hapon po. Moving on uh, for our last message, last but not the least, a message from the President of the National Association of Public Health Nurses Incorporated and the former PRCPON, Dr. Cara A. Ananuevo. Magandang hapon to public health workers and colleagues. Binabati ko ang mga participants na nagkumpleto ng kursong Nurse Lead. Hindi dito nagtatapos ang inyong engagement dahil iniimbitahan namin kayo na maging kasapi ng isang specialty nursing organization. 
alam ko na ilan sa inyo ay miyembro na ng TNA. As nurses, tayo ay may responsibilidad na maging bahagi ng isang professional organization. And this is to maintain loyalty to the development and growth of the nursing profession. Kaya binuun natin ang National Association of Public Health Nurses Incorporated or NAP PH, NAP HN. The National Association of Public Health Nurses was incorporated and registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission on December 1, 2021, during the pandemic. And NAP HN was officially launched last April 7, 2022. So, bata pa siya. There are good reasons why we need a specialty organization for public health nurses. Foremost, we need to be united as one strong group whose members are bound by these objectives. First, raise the standards of public health nursing practice by providing continuing professional education, training, and related experiences. I think it is high time we make known to the public and the nursing sector our valuable contribution to the healthcare delivery system. Hindi masyadong kinikilala ang public health nursing na bilang isang specialization. We are happy that you have enrolled in this course. This is an example of continuing professional education that will produce leaders in public health. Many of you, if not all, already have the skills to provide health services to individuals, families, and communities. It would be best if you have enhanced competencies to manage health units at different levels, informatics, develop policies, design advocacy programs, self-regulation, and those topics you acquired from this course. Second objective or reason, lead the development of public health nursing career pathways. Ano ibig sabihin natin nito? We must chart our career in public health as advanced practitioners. We need to have our sense of professional autonomy in public health while working collaboratively with others. Certification must be an advanced practitioner in any specialty, including public health nursing. Certification signifies the specific competencies and expertise of a nurse. The PRC and the Board of Nursing issue the certification upon endorsement of the recognized and credentialed specialty organization. In public health, this is the NAP HN. The third objective or reason to stop is to establish networks and linkages with relevant national and international health agencies, leading to a dynamic community of practice. The NAP HN can communicate and link up with public health organizations in the US, Europe, Asia, and WHO. Fourth, collaborate with other nursing organizations and unify all specializations of public health nursing. In the Philippines, we have public health nurses who are members of ONAP and NLGPN. Okay? They retain their membership in these organizations. We will attempt to unify ourselves in terms of a mission and goals and directions to enrich our practice in different fields or subsectors in public health. Fifth, strengthen the link between public health nursing education, practice, and research. We understand this statement as these three aspects must closely intersect. Next, contribute to public health practice and policy decision making through evidence-based research and projects relevant to implementing universal health care. 
Thanks to Nurse Lead, the advanced course you completed in helping you achieve this objective. And the last objective to advocate for the general welfare of public health nurses. We need NAP HN to provide leadership and provide voice and visibility for public health nurses who deserve to be given just compensation, benefits, privileges, and recognition. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we invite you to become members of the NAP HN, the first and only organization of public health nurses in the Philippines that is SEC registered. I would like to announce that we will hold our first webinar for um, current members of NAP HN on enhancing the research competencies of public health nurses to be held on this Saturday, uh, September 16, 2023. And again, please visit the NAP HNFB Facebook page and um, please uh, be members of the NAP HN. Mabuhay kayo. Thank you so much, Ma'am Cora. Uh, nurse Lead targets all of our public health leaders all over the Philippines. Now let us watch this video and see how each region has been represented in this course. To the highlight of this event, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our candidates. Christine, Leonardo Josephine, Matibay Michael Pauli, Amaril Donna, Arshano Razel Ann, Pontefalcon Nezrin Ben, Olarte Jensen, Marines Michael Reed. Alatao Janet, Pasquito Dini, Patty Francis, Terence Davis Burning, Kokotan Jenny, Kevin Lester John, Tomas Parley, Kopasho Vanessa Pan. Lente Raging Pile 
than you never John Christian. From the Visayas, we have Ada Rachel Jane, and again, Virgilio Jr., Arshaga Rolando, Aparo Jartsel Me, Philippine James Dixon, Venus Erdner Yang, Yamani Yuchen, Malion Yipem, Zon Manalang Chris, Mabalinas John Alex Richmond, Radok Beverly, from Mindanao, Santa Kirby, Owen Maili, Ebal Kim Rose, Toro Ronesh Kinali, Papil Freudan Jan, Vitale Al Zanini, Isaias Marlon Ederson, Obdimaga Shalket Kaisen, Arias P.J. Manudra Jermaine Marie. And congratulations everyone. Welcome to Nurse Lead. Welcome to Nurse Lead Pano. Welcome to Nurse Lead of the Alumni. And congratulations to sa lahat. So you will be awarded a uh, completion certificate. So this completion reads and certificate of completion. This is to certify that your name has successfully completed nurse leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing given this 25th day of March. Parang Malaysia. 22nd day of September 2023. Duration 140 hours. Credit for 45 units. Assigned by the program coordinator, Josephine Cariasa, and of course, the Dean and Director, Sheila R. Bonito. Congratulations, everyone. On behalf of Professor Josephine Cariasa, we want to recognize our institutional partners. We will be giving them a certificate of appreciation. First is for the Johnson & Johnson Foundation, Global Community Impact, for sharing their invaluable service as corporate partner in a nurse lead leadership course for advanced practice public health nursing held from August 11 to September 27, 2023, signed by Luz Barbara Donas, program coordinator, and Sheila Bonita, dean and director. And also Johnson & Johnson Philippines as our corporate partner with the same citation. And the Department of Health, Health Human Resource Development Bureau for sharing their invaluable service as our institutional partner. And now, you know, we want to hear uh, messages from our graduates. Well, first, we have Mavis Bernadette P. Perez. She's a nurse of the Department of Education Central Office, Pasig City, and she is our NCR representative. Take it away, Mavis. Greetings, fellow nurses, team leaders, and trainers, resource speakers, and most importantly, UP Manila College of Nursing. A pleasant day to all of you. I want to start my talk with this quote about nurses by Margaret Harvey. When a person decides to become a nurse, they make the most important decisions of their lives. They chose to dedicate themselves to the care of others. What this quote wants to tell us is that a nurse's first priority is to care for others which can also be related to becoming a good leader. Since in order to be a leader means that you dedicate yourself to your people or colleagues and be able to empathize with them. Being chosen for this Nurse Lead Leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing has been a great pleasure because it is intended to provide 
as nurses information and help us develop our abilities to become leaders in our profession. I see this course as a way to help me not be afraid of taking leadership roles and challenging tasks. By taking this course, I have discovered that a nurse leader adopts a proactive strategy to bring up about changes that will enhance patient care and how our advocacy may motivate and persuade our co-nurses and different organizations to take actions in order to enhance the healthcare delivery system in our country. This program can also help nurses progress in their careers in nursing by enhancing patient outcomes, stimulating innovations, and taking on managerial roles. In my view, effective nurses leaders are those who involve every member of the healthcare team recognize collaboration, provide choices, and support the decisions of others. As for my current position within our agency, which is Department of Education Central Office, this course equipped me to become capable of creating and formulating policies with assurance to enhance health programs within our firm that cater to the individual requirements of our employees. With all of this, I want to express my gratitude and appreciation to our sponsors, UP Manila College of Nursing, our team leaders and trainers, and all who made this program possible and successful. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for giving us nurses the chance to transform into nurse leaders in our community and organizations that we belong with. Um, again, thank you and have a good day to all of you. Thank you so much, Mavis. And to represent our graduates from Luzon, may I call on Rhea B. Varsabal, Nurse 2 from RHU Santa Maria. Nurses are the core of every health system. Investing in nurses means investing in health for all. Good day everyone, I am Rhea Bibar Sabal, a DOH HRH nurse deployed here in Rural Health Unit of Santa Maria, Isabela, with two catchment areas, namely Barangay Bangad and Barangay Kinagabian. As one of the chosen scholars for Nurse Lead Leadership Course for Advanced Practice in Public Health Nursing Year 3, I would like to extend my gratitude to University of the Philippines Manila College of Nursing, World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Leadership in Nursing Development in partnership with Johnson & Johnson Foundation. Thanks so much for the valuable and insightful leadership course. I believe I have gained from it in my career. As Dr. Año Nuevo said, Public health nurses should advance on their careers to be effective transformational leaders. And accomplishing this, leadership in public health nursing is a step for me towards my growth as a nurse leader and not just a leader but a transformational leader that ready to lead the change. <laughs> yes, really I learned a lot from this course. I think, overall, this course was very eye-opening and made me understand and want to better understand issues involving public health. I would say the one of the most important pieces of information I learned was just how much the idea of health issues that influences everyday life. 
I had never really thought too much about leading, managing, collaborating such public health issues. It treats causes, its effect, and to plan such program to be my own advocacy, to promote and encourage the community to be healthy. Learning about how important a nurse leader's views of managing health issues and how it affects the way we act on it. And resolving such barriers to implement programs that could help and lead the community for a change. This better understanding of public health is really about protecting and improving the health of the people and the communities. To achieve this, I believe that promoting healthy lifestyles, researching diseases, injury prevention, detecting, preventing, and responding to infectious diseases allows me to become more aware of the community health issues in my catchment areas. This leadership course for advanced practice health nursing, UP Nurse Lead Team Spirit has helped me develop my career to work collaboratively on projects, managing my subordinates, listening to ideas and makes me feel valued enough to openly state my opinions about health issues in my chosen catchment areas. This will help me to stay productive and flexible in my workplace. And to our course team and sponsors, thanks a lot for the insightful modules these past few weeks. <laughs> I have been to gain a lot from it and will be sharing this in my catchment areas. Yes, you were able to carry everyone along during our sessions and made it fun. I feel better equipped for future challenges and I am very much grateful for the details of this course, which can be used for future references in challenging situations. Thank you for improving our knowledge and abilities in public health nursing leadership, teamwork, and management. Once again, thank you UP Nurse Lead Team and sponsors for this innovative and mind-enlarging course for it taught us everything in public health. We were made to reason out the why behind the things and solve health problems. Thank you everyone. Through this UP Nurse Lead program, yes, really, you can improve your skills to lead, to manage, and collaborate. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much, Rhea, for that message and taking us for a virtual tour of your RHU and giving us a glimpse of a day in the life of a public health nurse. And now, may I call on Julius Vexen T. De La Cruz, Nurse 5 of Capiz Provincial Health Office, our Visayas representative. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. And allow me to, uh, to share uh, through the help of Mom CJ uh, regarding my uh, small presentation. Okay, so while preparing my presentation for my um, completion ceremony speech, uh, I would like to um, greet everyone. Uh, congratulations, no? And for this, um, allow me to share to you uh, what my learnings will be all about. So, I'm by the way, I'm Julius Vixen de la Cruz, Nurse 5, and um, I'm the section head of the Family Health and Nutrition Section of the Provincial Health Office of Capiz. So actually, I'm from Raja City. Uh, this is the seafood capital of the Philippines. If you can, and um, next, yeah. So dito nyo makikita lahat na yan. No? We have uh, various um uh, Now with regards to my uh sharing, uh, nabinig mo ba yung uh chismis na word? So yung yung chismis natin, actually, uh, pag join plan natin sa uh, nurse lead, um parang gusto na natin i-share kung ano na nga ba yung nangyayari sa sa course natin and how do we go about with all the modules and the the activities. So, uh, from the word chismis, uh, next po, makita natin dyan na may mga babae, may mga um, uh, structures na ginagawa and kung ano yung current ngayon about uh, uh, being the chismosa. No? Actually, we have Marites and uh, if you happen to scroll uh, regarding about Marites, 
Marites somehow um uh, they have um put names in to this name no, of Marites as master of arts in relaying information through exaggerated storytelling. So uh next slide would tell us about and uh, chismis uh, this and that no isang bagay kaniwang manangusap o pwento na may kaugnay sa tungkol sa, sa buhay buhay. Uh, they are uh, chismosa or chismoso kung lalaki, dadalera, babae, satsatera kung lalaki. But as a nurse leader, uh, gusto ko lang emphasize na um, sa pag uh, si chismis, ito yun. So for the next slide, dapat pag nagchichismis daw tayo bilang nurse leader, isa lang po muna, uh, dapat tama, then sigurado, sapat, at makabuluhan na information system na yung binibigay natin. No? So tama because of the informations that they have our speakers have downloaded uh, to each and everyone. So dapat sigurado na tayo ngayon if we are leading, if we are managing, and if we are uh, advocating or collaborating. And when you uh, share information, dapat uh, sapat, walang kulang, walang dagdag, dapat may value and in a form of an information system. So Going back doon sa atin na uh, um uh, message no. So next slide. So uh, ano ba yung pagtingin ko sa course dati? Now looking at these two pictures, uh, next pa pa kita na lang. So para sa akin ang nurse lead is um, avenue for learning and development. Yung course din while ina-undergo natin is very informative, napakaganda ng mga topics and yung yung importance and the benefits na nakuha natin ay sobra-sobra. And even dun sa uh, mga um, breakout sessions natin, nakita natin na napaka-well-rounded ng mga discussion, not only sa breakout session, but even to the uh, time na nagdi-discuss na yung mga speakers natin. And then, yung realization. Actually, maraming realization na ginagawa na pala natin and through this module, do natin ma-realize yung uh, parang reasons behind or the theory, theory kung bakit ginagawa na nga natin yung mga ganyang uh, bagay. Now, now next. Regarding naman sa uh, course no. So being being a public health nurse is actually one thing and to lead, manage and collaborate effectively is another thing. So um I have learned we have learned from this course to value the importance of all the activities. So actually from the start na uh, pinapa introduce ka and then to uh, read the modules to answer the activities and even to attend our synchronous sessions. We really need to value that one. And also communication. Nakita natin, um, may mga ex uh, sharing of experiences tayo, um, kung paano tayo uh, nakapasok. And then while on the course, nahirapan tayo. And even to the point na parang gusto na nating mag-quit. And yun, uh, it has become our huge uh, learning experience since Diba, challenging nga on our on the on on the first part but um dahil hindi tayo nag-quit uh, in the span of uh, six weeks we're able to realize that this course has taught us as somehow to be flexible and resilient which I can be and next for my current role actually it uh, provided me no, with the tools in leadership, in management, collaborate, collaboration, especially the competency that we were able to gain. And also, um, through this uh, uh, course, we're able to look uh, problems, public health problems in a different perspective. And also, it, also, uh, it somehow uh, encouraged us to be innovative and be creative, especially in crafting our uh, capstone project. So I think um, lastly, for my next slide, a uh, message to the team. No, So for the course team, the speaker, and even to the Capis Provincial Office, the Capis Provincial Government, and also special thanks to our uh, team shore, no? especially Ma'am Jelai, Ma'am Casey, and Ma'am CJ. Actually, for the whole module, ito actually yung na-reserve ko na mga pictures natin. So as for the leadership and management, uh, collaborative modules, our speakers presented them so simple and uh, practicably. So thank you for that. We have also enjoyed all the activities and workshops. Answers the from the speakers were detailed and straightforward. Thank you also. And 
uh, the positive thoughts and ideas went on with our course. So we're all elated that we are attended the synchronous virtual sessions regularly and it was such an as interactive leadership course. How much more if uh, face-to-face po tayo. So with that, next slide. Thank you po. And allow me to um, leave you with this message from, next slide po, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, if you want something you have never had, you must be willing to do something you have never done. So as nurse leader, uh, marami po tayong uh, pinato- pinatunayan and sabi nga ni Jefferson, we really need to do something in order to uh, get that something na gusto natin. Yun. So with that, uh, thank you very much for yun na po yung uh, last slide ko from the Capis Provincial Office. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Julius, for that thoughtful message and the new take on chismes. Tama, sigurado, sapat, makabuluhang information system. Thank you so much. And last but not the least, may I call on DJ Z Orias, nurse two of DepEd Kinapawan CT, our Mindanao representative. Take it away, DJ. Good day, everyone. I am deeply honored as one of the representatives for the Mindanao delegates. And today, I want to take you on a journey through my transformative experience with the Nurse Lead course. This program is nothing short of a game changer. It's designed to equip nurses like me with the essential skills not just to lead, but to truly excel in managing primary health care services. What set this course apart is its practical approach. It delves deep into the ever-evolving landscape of public health. Throughout our journey, we've mastered leadership, collaboration, program management, and policy advocacies all bundled into one transformative experience. The emphasis on collaboration and partnership with stakeholders has illuminated my path towards implementing future effective and sustainable programs, especially in school mental health. Beyond this, I've gained crucial program management skills, honed my ability to make informed policy recommendations, and became a stronger advocate for changes that enhances the mental health and well-being of everyone within our educational community. This course has been a humbling journey, reshaping how I, as a public servant in the Department of Education, provide health services. The Nurse Lead course has equipped me with the essential skills to excel in my current role, where the challenges of public health intersects with the educational system. It has not only empowered me to be a leader, but also prepared me to make a more significant impact within the Department of Education. As an advocate, I am now better equipped than ever to champion policies that prioritize mental health and well-being in our schools and in the division. Ultimately, this benefit benefits both educational community and our local community. This transformative journey has provided me with the tools I need to address the challenges of public health in relation to education. In closing, I extend my deepest gratitude to the Nurse Lead course team and its sponsors. Your unwavering commitment to elevating the nursing profession is remarkable. Thank you for believing in the nurse's potential to lead and be catalysts for change in our own unique ways. The knowledge and skills I've acquired through this course have had a ripple effect, enriching not just me, but the entire community. Your dedication is inspiring, and I wholeheartedly thank you for empowering nurses like me to create a profound and lasting impact in the community we serve. As I journey towards the end of this course, the key takeaway message that has been instilled in me is that as nurse leads, community thrives. Daghang salamat. Daghang salamat, DJ, for that message. Uh, our representatives, no, kung napansin ninyo, very ano, uh, magagaling magsalita and very creative. So we are very excited uh, sa makikita pa natin sa ating uh, Nurse Lead Summit 2024. Ayan, di ba? Ganun ang transition. 
All right. So uh, to give you a glimpse of how uh, this Nurse Aid Summit in 2024 you know, is done, uh, let us all watch this video. Ayun. So sa mga excited po, papuso na lang. Yung mga wala pong puso, hindi po kayo excited. Ayan, excited na siya. Pati si Jello, excited na siya. Okay, so ayan. No? So I think lahat naman excited po lahat. Kami din po ay very excited. Karan ba to 2024 December, no? Tama ba? <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> Sa lalong madaling panahon sa 2024 for sure. Wala pa lang date but that will be on 2024. All right? So we are almost at the end of our program but uh, first please answer the course evaluation survey by using this uh link. Is this link found in VLE CJ? Yes po. Yan. So oh yeah, sabi ni Julia na sa uh, ano po din po ito sa VLE. Pasagot na lang po. Yes, and we'll distribute the links din po through RTA sa mga group chats. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. And the link to your certificate for your certificate of attendance will be sent via email. And now, kindly turn on your cameras for our photo op. <laughs> Okay, and all right, I'll take the pictures po. Um okay, I have three panels. Wait. Okay, once you're everyone's ready, smile po. One, two, three, smile. Okay, next panel. Okay, ready na po balahat. One, two, three, smile. Okay, next panel naman. Uh, last panel na po ito. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you for everyone. And thank you so much, Julia. And to close this afternoon's event, uh, may I call on Professor Luz Barbara Donis, our Nurse Lead Program Coordinator, for her closing remarks. Warm greetings to everyone. We wish to thank all of you for honoring us with your presence today. Indeed, this is a happy occasion because who would have thought that the Nurse Lead Program will have a year three struggling as we were in years one and two amidst pandemic. But as they say in Filipino, kapag gusto, magagawaan paraan. Demonstrating our resilience and tenacity. And sure enough, here we are done with the first batch on our third year. The program will not be possible without the coming together of key institutions and important people. And I am speaking of the funding and support of the Johnson & Johnson Consumer Health Philippines, represented by Mr. Manish Anandani, and J&J Global Community Impact, represented by Ms. Gwen Nitan. But of course, this will not all be possible without the support from the Department of Health through Director Joanna Banson from the Health Human Resource Development Board and the warm response of the local government units where our participants come from. UP's mandate to help in strengthening the nation's healthcare delivery system can only be realized when we join hands and put our hearts and minds together. Manus Caput Core. The visionary leadership of our outgoing Chancellor, Dr. Camrencita Padilla, and our Dean, Dr. Sheila Bonito, ushered in many opportunities for the UP College of Nursing to position and assert itself once again 
as the leader in the nursing profession education, not only in our country, but in the Western Pacific region. The renewed interest in primary health care and growing movement to achieve universal health coverage has put the public health nursing specialty group in center stage and challenged our young faculty to pick up from where the CHN luminaries left off. The work is not done after the nurse lead program. In fact, it will only be the start of a long journey towards excellence in public health nursing practice. It should also culminate in putting together the dynamic public health nursing nurses into one strong organization who will take the lead in setting the standards of PHN practice in our country. That will be the ultimate challenge that this leadership course presents to all of you. We foresee a strong public health nursing practice and public health nursing workforce. The seeds will come from this leadership program. Maraming salamat at sana hindi tayo mabigo sa ating adhikain tungo sa malusog na Pilipinas. Thank you so much, Ma'am Luz. And that is the end of our program and the end of Batch 1 uh, Nurse Lead Year 3. Congratulations, everyone. Palakpakan naman po natin ang mga sarili natin. Ngunit, dapat what? Datap what? Hindi pa tayo tapos. May mga capstone projects pa po tayong bubunuin. So just uh, keep in touch with your uh, teaching assistants and course facilitators uh, para matapos na po natin yung ating capstone project. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat at have a happy weekend. Thank you. Thank you po everyone for attending. Thank you.